students, Miss Lockhart here. Today we are going to be drawing this super cool three-dimensional looking cake inspired by pop art. So have your paper turned horizontal just like mine or wide, also known as a hamburger. <laughs> okay, so first step is to draw a horizon line, which is a horizontal line from the left side over to the right side just about in the middle. Now please be sure to use a pencil so you can erase. Now, the next step is drawing an oval. It's quite a flat oval here at the top in the top half of the page, about in the middle of the top half, you're going to draw a very wide, smushed, oval, kind of like a cookie. This will be the top of the cake. Now the shape, the three-dimensional form that we're going to be creating is a cylinder. So now we have our oval at the top. The next step is to draw a vertical line from the left point, the furthest left point of your oval, down into the, the foreground of the page, which is the tabletop. So it crosses the horizon line and comes down and try to make your two lines, the left and the right side, the same length. And definitely make sure they cross over the horizon line into the foreground. So here's the next step. We're going to be doing another curve down at the bottom of the cake, very similar to the top curve, except it's not an, a complete oval. It's just the curve at the like that you would see at the bottom of the oval. Now we are sketching, and you can see I've gone a little over there on the left which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and tidy it up and make, make a line that is a little more symmetrical. Okay. I'll be erasing later on. The next step is to draw another line, but this line is going to be almost a triangle, but we're going to start with a dot in the middle of your oval. Put a dot in the middle of your oval, and now bring a diagonal line down to the left and a diagonal line down to the right to see almost like a triangle shape so the bottom is slightly curved it is also like an a-frame okay now we're gonna be drawing a line right down the middle starting at the dot in the middle of the oval and bring it down to the bottom of your cake where the other curved line is now you're gonna be doing another a-frame or triangle uh, shape at the top with your two diagonal lines connecting at the top. And you want it to mimic the shape above. So you need it to look like the shape above. And now bring the line down from the top right hand side of your triangle shape down to the bottom and then on the left bring your line down so you have two parallel vertical lines. So you have two lines that are side by side and then you have one in the middle you'll start to see the 3D form appear. We do have some erasing to do. The horizon line will not be seen when we're done. But right now we're gonna keep sketching and erase at the end. So just follow along. And you can always pause the video or rewind and see if you missed something. Now I'm gonna add some fun decorative elements to my cake, like these little they're going to be little semicircles or maybe gumdrops. You can see I'm going to do a straight line and then do a curve above it. So a straight horizontal line with a curve above it. And I'm going to do three on each side. Now for the middle, I'm going to do a candle. Do a curved line if you want to do a candle at the bottom. Because this will also be another cylindrical shape. And then you're going to need to do two tall vertical lines that are also parallel. And then at the top, you're going to need to do another oval shape. It's also a cylinder shape. And I'm going to do a little flame at the top of my candle there. It's a little crooked, but I'll be fixing that when I outline 
and erase. I'll try a little bit here too. It is so important to use a pencil for sketching so you can erase things like that. Okay, so you can really start to see the cake coming to life. I need to finish the decorations here on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do three more semicircles on the left side so it is symmetrical. Great. Okay, it's about that time I need to erase so I can add some more things without that line confusing me. So I'm going to erase the horizon line that you can see through the cake. Normally, you would not see that, would you? The cake is overlapping that line. So I'm going to take my eraser. And it's so important to hold your paper down firmly with your other hand that you're not using to erase with so your paper doesn't rip or move. And I'm going to start erasing these bottom lines here. So those those three lines that we did in the middle represent a slice of cake being removed. So we need to erase the bottom where I already erased, and then here where the horizon line is in the middle of our slice. We'll also be coloring over this, so if you have any little ghost lines or remaining lines, hopefully we can put a darker color over that and cover it. Okay. So I'm also going to erase these little lines here at the top. I'm really holding my paper down so I don't rip it. So I'm going to erase those top lines inside that very uh, that top A-frame or triangular shape we drew. Now I'm going to need to redraw the middle line because we still need the middle line. You'll see here. Okay, sometimes I erase things I don't mean to. Now I'm going to go back over it so you can see the middle line. I'm going to go back over any other lines that were erased on accident that are part of the cake. And here I am fixing that because it ended up being a double. Let's make it a single line. Okay, I'm going to fix these lines up here. Redraw the middle line again so it's straight this time and not doubled. Now I'm going to erase the horizon line there um, on the right side of the cake. And then the left side of the cake. Which now leaves some nice space for fun decorations for the side of our cake. I'm going to fill in those lines again, the ones that were accidentally erased. Okay, so this is what we want to see. Make sure you do the erasing in the right spots. Take a good look at how mine looks. And then I'm just going to make sure that I like the overall outline of my shape here, my cylinder, my cake. So I'm going to erase a little bit more. And once it's pretty finalized, and once I'm happy with the general shape, then I'll add some details to the sides. So spend a few minutes making your drawing look how you want it to look. Oh, and then we need to do a very big oval at the bottom to represent a plate. Now, you shouldn't need to draw through the cake for this. It's going to be big enough so where you can stop around the back of the cake so you don't go through it because we've already erased and made it look nice. So two ovals to represent a plate. And make sure it's nice and big. Okay, now. Now it's time to add some fun detail and some pattern. I'm going to make my frosting have some really fun curved lines, so maybe I can color it with a few different colors on the outside. Great. I'm going to double, double up those lines so it looks like a layered cake. That'll be really fun to color in. Okay. 
Okay. I will need to outline my drawing. And I also recommend you outline as well with black. And if you don't have a black marker, you could use a crayon, a color pencil, or even another darker color of marker, like purple or blue. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly outline so I don't make a mistake now that I'm using marker. Because you know it won't be able to be erased. Okay, now there is one part of this cake that is missing. It's the most important part, I think. It's the frosting in the middle of our layered cake. So, watch closely as I divide up the inside slice so that you can see the layer inside the cake that is gonna be full of frosting. So I'm gonna do another diagonal line that is the same direction and angle as the ones below it. So look closely. It's just like the A-frame I did below. Okay. But it's a little bit higher up. And I'm gonna do another one here, another diagonal line, and then bring it down on the right. So look at that, you can see now the inside of our cake has an awesome layer that has three layers. Okay, so I'm going to erase the pencil line that was not covered after I outlined, so it's nice and neat. And for the rest of the time this week, we are going to be outlining our pencil line. Please be sure to do that with, like I said before, a black marker, crayon, colored pencil, oil pastel, whatever you have at home, something dark. Great, and don't forget after you outline to erase all of the pencil lines, the pencil lines that did not get covered with a marker. So it looks nice and neat. And then it'll be ready for coloring next week. So please don't color it early. Color with me because I actually want to have you color it a very special way using complementary colors. Now here is the one I did previously that is already erased. I want to show you how fun it'll look once you outline your drawing with black and erase your pencil lines and then your drawing will be ready to go. Your cake will be ready for coloring next week. Stay tuned everyone. Thank you for watching and participating. I cannot wait to see your cool 3D looking cylindrical cakes. Have a wonderful week. Bye everyone.